right, guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, welcome to the next, I guess I should bring it up here, the next episode or installment of the 2021 Canvas Shootout. Now, of course, if this is your first video that you're watching part of the series, let me get you up to speed. So in previous years, we have tested multiple uh, Canvas companies. Two years ago, we uh, we compared three companies. Last year, we compared seven companies. Now, when I say compare, what we do is we have this shootout where I will spend no more than $100 on a 16 by 24 print that I send out or I place an order just like you would at a variety of different canvas companies. When the canvases come in, I'm going to compare them in front of you. So therefore you and I both can make a mental judgment on which one we think is crowned as the best canvas print each year. So this year we have 11 companies that we're comparing. So rather than doing a big gigantic video, last year's video was two hours. That's seven companies. 11, man, that would be probably a six hour video. So we're doing things a little bit different this year. That being said, we're doing individual smaller bite-sized videos uh, on each canvas print as I open it up. So I'm gonna crack the sucker open right here in front of you. I'm going to examine it. I'm gonna share with you everything so you can see everything that I do. I'm gonna point out things that I like. And I'm gonna point out things that I don't like. And again, it allows you to make your own decision on which one you feel deserves your your money so when you're ready to place a canvas uh, print you have a good idea of what to expect from each one of these companies now if you want to jump to see what the other companies uh look like in the description below there's going to be 10 other links actually technically 11 i'll expound on that in a moment 10 other links are going to bring you to the other canvas uh videos that we did just like this one I don't know who this is from because it's not labeled, but I'm sure we're going to find out in a minute. Also in the description, if you want to jump to see who we crowned as the winner of the 2021 Best Canvas, uh, of course, I'm going to have that link down there as well. So I'm kind of curious who this came from. So let's get to it. Let me figure out the best way to crack the sucker open. And I will say whoever shipped this, this is one of the larger boxes. Actually, this is the largest box that I have received. And so I'm really curious to see, okay, so this is, this is looking pretty good so far. Okay, I like this. Jesus, okay. Now this is some serious Tetris uh, shipping packaging here. Somebody really, see this is, you've seen, if, if you've seen some of the other videos, you know why I'm impressed with this. This is really, well done. Some of the others, as you know, had the canvas prints just sitting in a box, shifting, shuffling around. This is some, let me, let me turn my ringy dingy off. This is definitely by far one of the most extravagant means of shipping, which is a good thing. And so I'm actually pretty impressed. So whoever this is, did a really good job with the packaging. Really impressed. Okay. Now we're gonna find out. That was really, oops, that was really slick. I like that. And it has a nice weight to it. The print has a really nice weight to it. All right. All right, so as I've shown, uh, all my volume. I'm a Mac user, so every, when a text comes through, it comes through my computer, iPads, phones. I'm sorry, I didn't shut my volume up. Okay, so I will say this has a really go back. This has a really solid feel to it. I like the plastic around, which is protecting it really nice. I see one thing right at the get go that is a little bit of a buzz kill, but so far. Paperwork, let's find who this is from. Michaels, okay, customer framing at Michaels. Okay, alrighty, so we have my receipt. So now I know this is from Michaels, so we know where this print came from. And they sent a little bag full of 
Okay, so they have included a little spirit level, no wiring hanging system. That's pretty cool. I like that. So you have a little level in there. You have a couple nails. You have a couple plastic things, which I believe go down on the end to prevent the bottom from hitting. And so, all right, let's... First impressions. Okay. You know, I was excited about this print when it first came out, but the the canvas is not really tight. There's, and again, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. There's some weirdness going on with the blues right here. You can almost see a tonal difference here between these. It's weird, being a car guy, I always associate uh, quality with weight for whatever reason. If you open up a, a door to a Honda, for example, or a door to a Rolls Royce, for example, there's a there's a big weight difference. And if, uh, this is a stretch, but the, the weight of the, the Rolls Royce just feels better and you associate quality with it. This, when I when I was handling it, before I took it out of the package, it weighs a lot. So I'm like, wow, hey, this is pretty cool. But I'm finding things I just don't like about this. Uh, right up on the top corner here, you can see, Let's see if we can get that in there. You can see there's a little white blemish there, um, which is a big fat buzz kill. Okay, so now if you've not watched this before, so this is kind of weird. So you can see if this is your first video, I put it in each of my prints, I put this big, horribly awful <laughs> logo. And that logo is there for a reason to see if there's a, if anybody is actually having a hands-on quality control with these things, uh, sometimes it's, this isn't as bad as I've seen. Although when you look at the surface level, but then you look at, you look at down here, you can see that it's just merely mirroring on the bottom end. So it does look kind of weird. Um, so to see who actually reaches out or who, hey, we'd like to fix this for you. Or are you sure you want this printed? Um, these guys have it mirroring around the bottom, which does not look good. And speaking of which, the wrapping of this is really, it's different and it's weird. Uh, it's a little sloppy, if I can be frank about that. So usually, this reminds me of wrapping a, like a Christmas gift. Um, and how they, whereas most will have the crease right on the edge and it looks a lot neater. This, in my opinion, I think looks sloppy. I do not care for that at all. And the bummer side of this here, if you look at the back here, if you can see how this is really tucked in, you have multiple cracks. And you may be saying, well, Alec, that goes up against the wall. Uh, who cares? Well, again, at the end of the day, we're not, I'm not being selective as far as what I'm sharing with you. I'm showing you literally A to Z. Um, you're spending good money on something like this. Hey, you want this to be fantastic inside and out or backside and front. Um, I will say, I can tell you right now, I do like the mounting hardware. Let's check to see if it is plumb. Okay, five eight four five eight four N. Okay, for the most part, it's only a sixteen inch difference. So, is it exact? No, but it is. It's close, but it's not exact. Uh, stable frequency, which we notice in the front, the canvas is not really tight. I can tell that right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Okay, eleven staples. Uh, again, we've spoken about this numerous times. Why is that important? Uh, because as this print ages, and with this being taunt, again, you want the canvas nice and tight, it's slowly going to start pulling away if you don't have enough stables in the back of it. Um, so, there's no bracing in here, which I've mentioned this many times. I like to see bracing in there. It's just, it's nice to have that peace of mind. Um, and I also like to have it covered. This is not covered. Um, the frame, the framing looks really, the framing looks really good. I like the framing. The corners are mitered really nice. The The wood is a little rough here. You can catch a splinter there, which, 
but I will say the weight of this frame feels really nice. The corners are really done nice. Boy, I still can't get over how sloppy that canvas work is on the back of here. The cam, the 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 frame. I say these guys hit a home run with the frame. Minus it doesn't have the bracing in it. Um, but the back really does look sloppy. The corners look sloppy. The mounting hardware is sl the mounting hardware is nice, but it's not plum, 100% plum. They dropped the ball on the logo. And there's that discoloring in the, the sky here. Now, I will say the image looks, it's not the sharpest image where, where you really get a sense of all the detail, but it's certainly not the worst. On one of the prior ones, you can see where you can't see the the uh, the lines in the side of the house. This one, you can actually see it. So is it bad? No. Is it the best? No. Um, the weight of this is fantastic. I love the weight. Um, I love the little care package that they throw in here. But I'm sorry, I just do not like the how they wrap the canvas is sloppy and yeah. So, all right, that's it for Michaels. So again, uh, if you want to check out the other companies uh, that we have in this uh, shootout, check out the description below. Uh, also, you can check out who we ultimately uh, crowned as the victor for the 2021 Best Canvas Print Shootout. All right, guys, that is it for this review. If you want to check out the other companies that we compared in the 2021 Canvas Shootout, check out the description below. Uh, also, if you want to just jump to the video where we crown the victor of 2021, check out the description below as well. And so that is it for the Michaels canvas review. Now it's that time of the video where I'm going to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff. The goal of doing these videos is to help you as the consumer make more educated decisions on which canvas prints and how you, so you get the most value, get the, stretch out your dollar as far as it can. And so you get the best print possible. Now, if I've helped you accomplish that or you are mildly entertained, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, sure would appreciate you or would love to have you part of the family. And last but not least, hit that bell to be notified for each time that we come out with a new video. My friends, I'm gonna be jumping out here. You get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot.